this theatre represents a great enterprise on the part of the proprietors, which I'm sure you will all agree is deserving of every success. Apart from the provision it will make for the entertainment of the people, one of the benefits that have been gained is the employment of many scores of men in the erection of the building. I am glad to have had the privilege of opening the building because I know it is the aim of the proprietors, first of all, to the utmost possible extent, to use British films, and secondly, to use the quality of film that will justify the patronage of uh, families. This being the object of the proprietors, I have uh, the greatest pleasure in, which, in wishing success to the undertaking, and I'm sure that everyone present will heartily endorse this view. Uh, this is a few of the men that have been employed on this building for some several months, and uh, we've just got them here for a little uh, photo, so you'll all see them on the stage. Many of them won't be here, naturally, but I hope a good many will be. I would like to introduce, uh, introduce a, few, a few of the principals. To start with, the resident architect, Mr. Richmond. Uh, secondly, Mr. Richardson, the son of Mr. Richardson, who has been responsible, been on the job all the time, and responsible for the whole building. He's not so shy as he looks, but he's all right. <laughs> <coughs> Thirdly, Mr. Mollo, uh, Mollo and Egan, the, the artists responsible for the decoration of this theatre, and I think they made a very good job of it, which I think you'll agree with me too, sitting here as you are. Uh, fourthly and lastly, I would like to introduce Mr. F.J. Spickenell, my father, who is responsible for putting up this wonderful theatre, and I think it's wonderful, and he'll say, say a few words to you, you've already seen him, but now you'll see him again on the camera. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I thank you for the honour you've done us and the film industry generally throughout the kingdom in opening this building. Uh, we greatly appreciate it and uh, I hope that it will mean success for us and success for Southampton. Uh, we have to also thank all the workmen and others that have helped us to put up this building and uh, I sometimes think that I must possess uh, a good deal of plot and grit to put up a building like this in these times of depression. But still, we cannot all keep our hands in our pocket. We've got to go forward. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. I admire your courage, Mr. Spickernell, and need hardly say it's been a pleasure to me to perform this little service. Thanks. Three cheers for the Mayor. <laughs> this is just an outside shot of the building. Uh, it looks much better at night lit up. But this is the best we can do, and it's not a very nice day. But uh, you've seen the interior now, now you're looking at the outside. You'll observe the car park, which we can park a lot of cars on. And I think that's about all there is, as far as I can say, about the outside. You'll see it yourself, of course. 